and he's able to regulate their behavior. So he's going to tell us uh, about the role of uh, interneurons and uh, various uh, mechanisms by which uh, uh, excitability is uh, controlled in these circuits. Um, and so uh, one, one thing I'd like to do before I actually start, it's uh, particularly a pleasure for me to uh, introduce uh, Juan de Carlos, because it turns out about uh, a little over 20 years ago, both he and uh, uh, Laura were uh, postdocs in the lab next door with uh, Dennis O'Leary. And uh, I used to hang out with the lab quite a lot because, uh, in fact, I got married to Sue Kester, who was a graduate student in the lab at the time. So it's a pleasure for me to introduce. Uh, <laughs> okay. The same, the same time of the uh, mirror inside of the, the brain. Uh, this uh, type of mirror that represented here the two uh, uh, drawings. The first one is a uh, first one represents the projective cell, which means the perennial cell of the cortex, it was in the 70% of all the neurons uh, that populate the cortex, and uh, they are still at the neuron. And then another one are the non projective cells, the sort of axon cells that has the very different morphologies, are the size that is smaller, and they are in the biological process that are the tabas in the procedure, they are very integrated in the condition of the brain that is So these both types of neurons are arranged in the brain of the organization of the intercellular process. So the third, the more important organization that has the cellular cortex is a six layer structure. Six a horizontal layer, and this layer is composed by different type of cells, and this type of cells create different supposed areas in the brain, and also this horizontal cells, horizontal layer, receive a upper type of cellular cortex coming from different structures. So the question is that the the function of, of any brain structure is going to depend on the neuronal composition and on the pattern of the system of the system. But this is uh, not the only organization that has the cerebral cortex because there are another important organization that is in the columns that was described by the Rafael Lorenzo in 1938. And uh, Lorenzo was uh, one of the latter disciples of Rafael, and he had to play the idea that he said of the cerebral cortex as a brain synthetic body that will give the neuron and barrier and medical pathways. And this is a uh, data that was confirmed by the physiologist in 1957, uh, which uh, did uh, so the uh, physiologist presented the system of the cerebral cortex, and he uh, concluded. That the neuron is lying in narrow vertical columns or cylinders extending from the layer 2 to layer 6 um, for a beta sanitary unit of organization because they are activated by stimulation of the sun present nuclear detector from almost the medical nuclear fields and the nuclear detector for the various layers. So, we want to speak to the domain of this wonderful organization, we have to go to the the embryo and uh, the realize that the cerebral cortex uh, begins to appear in the principal uh, principle in the first part of the, the, the embryo. And uh, uh, the beginning was uh, a very, um, um, this, uh, this is uh, the, the dorsal transepharotis or 
the, the value and the rental to the sector of this project. Value and it is a little bit heavier, value a little bit heavier, and going to be a very bad project. At the beginning, it's a single certified a volume and a little bit heavier. That is a big deep inert. And the first thing that occurred was the opinion of the first value that we got. The first thing I've done in the little bit heavier is the zone that is in the deepest part of the new material, and we call the ventricular zone. So, uh, the process of the right here, and the new copy is the first level of the cortex that is a we call the meta heart rate cell, who will gain a stem upward to a populate superior part of the, the stem, more external part of the cell, and in uh, another round of the process, I think the second sets of the cellular cortex that is the the super cells and also both uh, type of cells are going to fall in the kidney. After that, we need another way of mitosis that are going to give another type of neurons that we call the cortical brain cells. And the cortical brain cells are still also following an inside out gradient to uh, enter in the pre and the split this uh, layer into different uh, areas, the marginal zone, in the upper part of the subplate in the lower part. So the cortical plate is uh, going to develop in the, in the layer 2 to layer 6 of the cortex. And in, in this uh, intestinal, you have another layer that we call the intermediate zone that is a place for layer, that is a uh, layer that is uh, full of uh, fiber. Fiber flows are axons that are uh, going out of the cortex. And also in the center in the cortex from the supercontrol. So, um, another uh, type of cell that is in this scenario is the radial glial cells. This is a, a very typical uh, glial cell that only occurs in the development and later on it disappears because they transport another type of, of glial nestrocytes. So, um, what the cell that is a little bit in the marginal zone, in the particular zones, in the particular zone, the epithelium, are going to uh, move because, you know, uh, because the cells are activated in one place, never stay in the same place that they activate, they move far away, and uh, in the cortex, the cells move using a radial vibration. Here I put some uh, interesting pressure to describe some interesting. Cortex, as is uh, Angelina Simon, who says that the, the progression of the, the development of the cortex uh, follow uh, uh, in the uh, inside out gradients. Marin Padilla, who told us about the, 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 the split, the triplet, and some very important data of the development. And Pasco Rapid, who said that, that the, the real cell has a role, a very important role in the development of the cortex uh, because uh, the process of the real cell. Uh, use a scaffold for the neurons to uh, try to uh, stay and reach this structure. Another important uh, question uh, about the, the radial glial cells came some years later, uh, several years later, and it was uh, that the, 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 the radial glial cells are the model of all the, the cells in the general cortex because we are able to divide to give us. Uh, and uh, not and also relaxes. So we did that uh, we did that is uh, that good, that is the classic group or the classical view, where uh, the first thing that's a good is uh, the thickness of the in the pigment, and later on the pigment is split in by the process. So at that time uh, the scientists believed that the brain was compartmentalized and its compartment uh, had expressed uh, uh, its proper uh, genetic growth and also for a uh, very sharp uh, limit in the areas, and the cell that uh, was uh, integrated in one in other area do not transfer the, the limit in some other area. So, my laboratory was the first to uh, describe in 1996 that there was some uh, population of cells that were generated in the in some uh, transitory structure in the development that is called the ganglionic eminence and the cell generated here are able to uh, transfer the corticospectral surgery to enter in the cerebral cortex uh, following a transition degradation. 
and it is entered from it to the pathways. The one is uh, by the insulin and the, the maximum zones, and another one is uh, using the uh, insulin zones. So, um, when it is related to the laboratories, what is rapidly one in, uh, in Japan, another one here in, in San Francisco, is like the same, but they introduce that this transition uh, limiting cells is placed. As neurotransmitter, so uh, today, what scientists believe is that the that the excitatory cells, the pineal cells, are going to be generated in the cortical epithelium and move using the radial deviation to uh, uh, reach the uh, different stratum, uh, uh, stratum in the cortex, and all the interneurons are generated also the cortex in the subparium and uh, are using the transition generator to uh, reach to the cortex. Okay, with this data, we need this uh, cartoon that we call at that time the model view, that this is the, the epithelium, that send uh, the pre the preplay, and the preplay is uh, split by the cortical cells, and the cortical cells are uh, the blue one, and the red cells coming from the epithelium, and the green one. Okay, this is the basic data of the cerebral cortex development, and here I see this uh, knowledge at the end of the 20th century. But uh, take a look. The output is this uh, drawing in 1904, and this is the cerebral cortex of the human fetus at the beginning of the stealth mouse. Here in the right, not sorry. In the right is the, our main category, I get in the casal momentum. So you can see in the upper part is the marginal zone, in the casal, the cold, the marginal plate. This is the cortical plate that we know are going to produce the electric that sits in the cortex, and casal called the rudimentary plate matter. And this is the intermediate zone, that is a type of flyer, that are going to pass the axons, and uh, casal called the rudimentary plate matter. Uh, this is the seminar stone for us and also for the heart, but we divide the, the seminar stone into different parts, the different zone and the different zones. Okay, these are our radial uh, cells that the heart called uh, uh, radial epithelial cells. So the mitotic uh, stem that we see in the reticular form, because we get in the area, and we call it the nuclear of radial area, because the radial area is more of Cells in the cortex and the heart called the epithelial cells. And uh, when a pig is in the particular zone, the thing is that the radial area will divide uh, faster and uh, duplicates for the uh, intermediate percentage. So this, this is uh, a lot of the cells that go into the cerebral cortex, and, and this uh, type of nuclear and goes nuclear of the epithelial cells. We call it the nuclear proteins. The nuclear that we need in the nuclear stones, the high quality nuclear of neurons, the 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 nuclear of neurons, because the nuclear of neurons are the nuclear of neurons that are going to be generated in the nuclear of neurons. And, but, uh, uh, so that means that the high at that time we know that uh, all the the cells are generated by the division of the cells that there is an inside of gradients that the cells need using a radial deviation and also the fact uh, we draw this type of nuclei very similar but also they draw another type of nuclei of cells. This nuclei are smaller so it's uh, less implemented that this nuclei belong to uh, non projective cells with the interneurons. So in this case, you can see that some of them has a transitional disposition, and no, there is no a, a small nuclei in the lower part of the epithelium. So uh, probably the hard uh, are telling us that this uh, cell is not related to the epithelium uh, coming from the extracortical places. And uh, we know that the interneurons arrive to the uh, to the neurotic epithelium, the neural cortex, 
using artificial radiation, but also using two different uh, uh, ways of, of communication, type of communication. One is uh, in the, the vertical zone, another one in the intermediate zone. And the hand drone is usually only in the vertical zone and only in the intermediate zone. So uh, this is impressive because uh, we are this is known that the investors in the Cajal uh, know the same that we know now, at the end of the 20th century, but Cajal uh, said this, one of these, at the uh, initial of the 20th century. This is impressive information that this is going to and also just to tell, to tell you that uh, this is how we this is the exhibition here right now. Okay, the thing that we need is uh, the migration of the first and you know, the neurons move in the three, in the three uh, direction of the space, so we need to use the medication the whole brain. Also, we need to, to, to use the whole embryo, so uh, the embryo must be alive, so we need the uh, whole embryo culture with the embryo from the uterus, and uh, using the, the CD microscope, we need the, the, the brain that we want. And then we put the angels in the other pocket to put it for one or two days. So, if we want a longer period of survival time, we need to use another technique. So, in this case, we do an injection in the utero using an ultrasound device, a device uh, that is ready to inject in the, in the place that we want. This is a typical injection. This is a section of the, uh, you know, we, we, we see this uh, image in the screen. So this is the, the, the utero, this is the, um, the organization of the embryo, this is the lateral ventricle, this is the ventricle, and uh, this indication was made here the paraventricular nucleus of the uh, So it's pretty good. Well, using this technique, we were able to describe that the, the symphonical image of the and uh, also, uh, we, as we want to study the development of cerebral cortex. We uh, need to begin to study the triplet, the first layer of the epithelium, and the first layer of the epithelium, the first cells of the epithelium, the first cells. So, uh, some author proposed different places of this uh, type of cells. So, this, uh, Areas were the septal area, the ventral the, 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 the body, and also the other structure that's called, is called the cortical setting, that is an area we call that structure. But we need the indication, this is what we need of the embryo, the embryo the, to label these areas, and we saw that we get the setting, the cells migrate, and reach the cortical cortex, and then we get the embryo in the cortex. So we denied this area as a good place of origin of these type of cells, and the same occurred with the ventral value because the receive cells enter in the cortex and the cell that enters place in the past and uh, you know in the catalysis of cell that is placed in that. So this is a long time before we begin to study the cortical uh, scale. And the cortical scale is a big structure. And that uh, we give the cellular injection and we divide the structure to our injection in the prostate, the median, and the other part for the cortical cell. So we see uh, using this uh, technique that we get the cell that is generated in the cortical cell and we get an in the heaven. And we want to take the populated structures of the cortical cell. This uh, is a display of the cell and the population of the cortical direction and express already. Uh, as a specific marker, as a precision of supraverty. So, the important thing that we see in all this, in this type of screening is that the cells that are generated in the rest part of this structure, the cortical cell, are going to populate the rest of the part of the cell. And the cell that is generated in the outer part of the cell, the outer part of the cell, and then it meets the outer, the media, and the media, and the 
said, so how uh, can this uh, family uh, do this uh, with uh, so accurate uh, the regression? So we try to know using the, the, the problem experiment we use in this case, at the same time uh, with uh, GFP, so the all the terms of these lines are labeled in view when this is evaluated in several line. So we do uh, uh, sorry, this is for the cortical plate to transplant in uh, another area of the cortical plate of another device to the same plate uh, of the neural net, but in white device. So uh, the device transplanted in white one. So we can uh, display because we can uh, uh, transplant rostral part to powder or powder to rostral, and we can see if the uh, cells that are and um, originate from a total piece of the, 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 the cortical head that usually are going to play the total part of the brain. And if you uh, if I transplant this total piece in the total part, the testes are going to play the total for the total part. So the, the answer for this experiment is that the same target in the tropic areas is the of the new level cells of the intermediate level. So we need a more difficult uh, experiment because in this case we transplant uh, pieces of the cortical chain that this is a parallel structure, in a superior structure that this is the, the adrenic eminent. And we saw that the cancer cell move around the limit of the public in this uh, case across the superior. And I said, we didn't know the therapy of the infantile expression of the heart, the two cell markets, and they express micro superior cells. So the summary is that the, 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 the infection rules must be encoded in the medium through which uh, they uh, travel rather than in the cells themselves. So another type of cells that populate the, the preprint is the suprate cells, and the suprate cells uh, are a very heterogeneous population of cells. So the question is where they are uh, generated. So um, this type of cells begin to generate very early in, in, in an eaten embryo. So we did some uh, immunohistochemistry against the carpentry, that is uh, the typical marker of the suprate cells. And we see that uh, the, in at that time there are uh, some uh, carotene positive cells that are labeled in the uh, germinative area, in the particular zone, and also they extend to reach the superior structure. Of course, we need an injection in different parts of the subparium to, to see if there is another extra cortical area that uh, the super, uh, super can be generated and we inject in the, in the septal area, in the lateral retinus, in the lateral retinus, in the preoptic area, and so on. And uh, in, in all this, this area, the cells only arrive to the uh, reach to the uh, olfactory uh, cortices and the uh, in the, in the in the cortex. But when we inject in the rostromedial transcephaly wall, in the dorsal part of the rostromedial transcephaly wall, uh, we, uh, we inject in the 11 and we exclude the animal in the postnatal day 5, we see that the cells labeled are exclusively the supreme cells and there is a gradient from the rostral to the rostral. So there are an extracortical uh, area where the supreme cell can be generated. And also we did another experiment, we inject a plasmid uh, here uh, with the constriction with the TFP in the, in the ventricle, and we did an electropression to uh, uh, the cellular cell, the cellular cell that are divided into the, the, the plasmid, and we see that some uh, super cells are uh, labeled and they are stained and uh, are which the, uh, the preplate, but when we did an image, uh, we see that uh, the cells that are generated in the animal express carpentry. In the animal express experiment, we see that the cell that was generated in E10 express carpentry. So the question is that there are the different populations that are generated in the, in the same area, but in different ages, in different scales of development. In the, in the, 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 the following step is to the, the, the development of the cortex is to study the uh, cortical uh, plate uh, uh, state where the, where the, the, the cortical plate are going to be 
sees and they are uh, forming the different values of the cortex and this is how we in the in, in, uh, my laboratory. But the question is that uh, in, uh, this uh, cerebral cortex has the development, at the same time, there are a lot of cells in the cerebral neuron, so they are degenerated and they are going to form different structures. So the, the, this uh, idea came from a long experiment that we need in the disease, and we use in this case to label the terminative sort the teeth inside me. So when we get uh, to the body, uh, this is a human was made in blood. In it was, and we take out the embryos uh, in six hours later, we see that there are a lot of cells that was generated and they are uh, directing uh, all around the cell. But we get at the same time, and it was, but we uh, take out the embryos and see the better we see that there was only the uh, uh, label cells in the central area and also in the uh, olfactory, primary olfactory cortex. And there is no cells uh, uh, in the uh, dorsal and the body. here, we believe that there was a part of this cells because at that time nobody knows that cells can be processed along. The challenge to disappear from the human body is that was the that the cells are not related to the value, leave the value by the dental regression to this dental structure. So if we did so in the histocalcy, the human body, the body, the cell regression, the system of the body, and the microbial body, we see that all the positive to be said. Protein are in the rental part of the brain and uh, the, the value is almost free of uh, any value. So we study this in uh, doing different injections in the cephalon, and the rest of the world that we uh, did injections in the dorsal area of the dorsal part of the dorsal cephalon in these areas uh, are the great stem that we need to reach the. Uh, the, the And uh, when we uh, get in the angiotic um, uh, in this case, in the dorsal part of the cells, the cells uh, reach the pituitary cortex, we get in the ventral angiotic the cells populate the pituitary development and the human the pituitary cortex. So, it's a treatment of the this kind of medicine. So, the question is that at the earliest stage, Different variants, for example, the variant in price, cell population that express different markets and the data sensitivity around the specific tools to profitably convert it into your factory cortex. So, this uh, put, uh, in here, the, tell us about the importance of this and the data sensitization because it's uh, more, more important than the variant relation in the every speed of the development and also the importance of the triplet because. Uh, because uh, this strategy is a pregnancy suspended for coordination with the development. The data will be discussed that the uh, complete uh, report, this is the new epithelium, that the strategy that are proposed for the epithelium is the epithelium for the epithelium itself, is coming from the epithelium area, which is the epithelium pain, and also the epithelium, and also the epithelium. Cells that are uh, traveling in the way to different areas, and the level of this epithelium is uh, split by the epithelium of the cells and also coming from the neural epithelium and also from the extracellular uh, areas of the body. So, uh, when we are working at the office, we the people who are working at the office.
thanks for that beautiful talk. We have time for a few questions. Well, I can get you started. So I was curious whether this uh, long tangential migratory behavior was something new that evolved as uh, this uh, brain structures of larger in size during evolution, or whether the corresponding behavior seen in uh, other brains that have not such a large brain structures. Probably you didn't know how to reach it between the Thank you. 